uncertainty in the two-party U.S. system unifying these groups has proven difficult. Right-wing parties worldwide have managed to build broader social coalitions. Trump gained support from black and Latino voters in areas he lost in 2016 and 2020. His campaign addressed concrete issues focusing on job security and an economy built for Americans. On controversial topics like abortion, Trump softened his stance, appealing to a more centrist view. He also capitalized on public concerns about open borders and projected himself as a victim of political witch hunts, strengthening his connection with disenfranchised voters. In contrast, the Harris campaign failed to adopt a coherent narrative, which cost the Democrats key constituencies. So now on this U.S. Uh, election briefing from the Indian Express, let's talk to our reporters and start with Sally Patterson covering the winner down in West Palm Beach in Florida. Sally, when Donald Trump addressed his uh, supporters, uh, it was, I think, around three o'clock in the morning by the time he came out and uh, declared victory in the race for the American presidency. I mean, listening to him last night, it almost seemed that even he didn't quite believe it. Well, that's right, Simon. Earlier in the day, we heard from Donald Trump. He was asked if he would prepared a speech to say later that night, and he said no, he was speaking off the cuff. He's poked fun before at the Democrats and at Kamala Harris in particular for what he says having to read off of an, uh, an autocue, and he says he's able to speak off the cuff. And that's probably what we heard because he did seem to be almost taken aback by the results coming in. He used that as an opportunity to thank his campaign team, thank his family who were standing on stage with him. And the message that we heard from Donald Trump overnight, local time, soon after we started to get a sense that really this election was going in his favor, was one of unity. He said he was going to help the country heal. He said it was a divided nation and really under him it was going to be the best that it's ever been. He he said that we needed to put the division of the past four years behind us and move on to this unified nation. That's definitely not the narrative that we've been hearing from the former president throughout this campaigning season. He's often spoken very in very divisive terms, often calling out his opponents, even at times threatening them with physical violence. And so it was an interesting, different take to hear from him. He also uh, continued to use that populist language that we've heard throughout his campaign, talking about immigration, talking about the economy. Those are the issues that we know resonated with voters and indeed landed him that top job once again, going from the 45th president to the 47th one thing you'll see here in West Palm Beach is lots of people walking around with red MAGA hats. Now, today they've got a spring in their step that they might not have had going into the election yesterday. The ones who I spent the evening with are absolutely overwhelmed, overjoyed. They said that they knew that this was going to happen all along and now Donald Trump has proven them right once again. Don't forget he survived an assassination attempt to get to this point. He's also managed to maneuver his way through several court cases across the country. And so many of his voters see this as a really a time to celebrate his success and say that they feel that they were proven right all along. But Sally, I mean, to put it in bald terms, he's back from the political dead, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, what Donald Trump has done throughout this campaign is not go into those nitty gritty details about policy, how, what his promises are going to actually happen. He's instead really bought into that populist idea of promising people a better America than what they're living under at the moment. He asked his voters, he asked his supporters over and over again, are they better off now than they were four years ago under his presidency? And that's really paid off. He wanted to try and appeal to some of those minority groups here in the United States, particularly looking at Hispanic voters and black voters as well. And that again seems to have paid off. We saw him gain especially some of those Hispanic voters, taking more of them away from Kamala Harris than what we saw under Joe Biden last time round. They really care about the economy, about the border crisis facing the United States as people continue to stream in up through Mexico and it's landed. So whether or not what he says is actually going to materialize in the coming years at this moment doesn't matter. He's promised the nation a better, greater America and that's what he says he'll deliver.